in this video we want to learn about color scale so we have a list of numbers we want to see uh, which is uh, greater than others and uh, which numbers are smaller uh, just looking at numbers so let's go to format conditional color scale and we have here color scale with two entries or three entries let's see first with uh, two entries let's suppose we want um, the good values so greatest values to be with green and um, let's change light magenta or light red for a minimum values okay so now we have bigger number with green and with red color we have um, smallest number and the colors are decreasing uh, based on the number uh, in the scale let's edit we can choose uh, powerful uh, colors in this case red on green let's press ok so now it's very clear which one is uh, smallest and which one is uh, big in this um, scale so if I'm changing the values here, uh, you can see the color is changing. Uh, we have now the biggest number here. And let's have something in the middle of the interval. So let's have a 25. Because here I have uh, 50. So it's uh, half of that. So you can see uh, 25 it's, uh, as a color is between red and green. Okay. So for zero, which is minimal, I have red. For maximum, I have green. And there I have minimum. Let's have here for dates. So data, data is, if it's today or this week, let's choose, um, let's choose good. If uh, the date from the list is, um, next week let's have bad other way will be white so we have this week everything is this week is with green you can see here i have for the next dates from the next week are with red and with white i have other dates that are not this week or the next week so any other date is with white background if i'm changing here to today it's becoming green if it's tomorrow the same will be uh, green it's very uh, useful when you have a list with what I have to do today I am searching for green I have to resolve everything it's with green date so I can see very easy what I have to do uh, let's change here uh, let's go to conditional color scale uh, no, I don't want to add it like that. Let's go to Format, Conditional, Manage. And let's edit the color scale here. I don't want to two entries. I want to with three entries. So let's apply. So now the biggest value are with a green. Uh, middle values are with uh, yellow. And with red, I have minimal, minimal values like before let's uh, change we can change any color we don't have to use it this convention with our uh, bed is red and green is good we can choose any color we like for our uh, numbers uh, but it's very important to know visually what the colors means so it's very important for us to be very clear what the colors means um, let's change here to orange okay so you can choose whatever color you want let's uh, change here the formula I don't want uh, this week and next week let's change let's edit so the first condition with this week I want to be today and the next style I want to change from next week I want to change to tomorrow so today will be green 
or tomorrow will be red. And let's add another. Uh, let's add um, next week will be error. Okay. So I have for today with green, for tomorrow with red, and with a very uh, red background for the next week. Oh, another very useful thing. That was all about using color scale. Uh, thanks for watching and um, please subscribe for more video. Thank you.